If you own a black car or limo business and don't know the first thing about online advertising, this video is for you. I'm going to be going over different traffic sources, what a website is versus a landing page, and the best ways we've seen to follow up after observing hundreds and hundreds of companies do just that. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Mark Petrie here, back with another video for you all. And today I wanna to talk about online marketing basics because I know that many of you watching this might not understand the fundamentals and it's actually pretty simple explained like this. And so all online marketing starts out with traffic, right? So traffic is visitors to your website, visitors to your landing pages. And so what we're trying to do by doing Google ads, Bing ads, Facebook ads, or SEO, is we're trying to get traffic to our website or traffic to our landing page. And so once we get those visitors going to our website or landing page, the landing page is made, or website, the sole purpose is to convert visitors into leads. So that's all your website and landing pages are really, at the end of the day, that's their main purpose, converting visitors into leads. And then once you get the lead, your sales team and your sales system, if you have one, is meant to get leads into bookings. And then finally, uh, once someone does book and you perform the service, and hopefully they had a great experience, uh, following up with them, talking, asking them about how their experience was, you know, what could be improved if they had a great experience, that's a perfect time to ask them, hey, do you by chance have any other upcoming events? Um, do, are you a business traveler? Do you, uh, do you travel a lot? Uh, because we would love to earn your business. And so really all online marketing is trying to do is optimize for each of these things here. And what do I mean by optimize? Well, you can think of each of these blue question marks as a percentage. And so you might be wondering what I mean by that. Well, what I mean is this. First off, when you're doing something like paid ads, like Google ads, Bing ads, Facebook ads, um, we want to make sure the highest percentage of traffic we are getting is relevant. Because remember, with these three, you pay per click. So when we're running any of these campaigns, we want to make sure that traffic that we're getting is relevant because we're paying every time someone clicks on our ad. And so if we're only getting 50% of the traffic as relevant, as, as people looking for exactly what we offer, where we offer it. If that's only 50%, that's going to make the cost of a lead go up, a cost of a booking go up. It's really gonna double the cost of a lead, double the cost of a booking. And so that's the first thing we wanna optimize for. We wanna make sure the traffic that we're getting is relevant traffic. Next, how well does your landing page or website convert visitors into leads? So this is going to be another percentage. And what I've found is a good uh, solid percentage for the limo industry is anywhere from 20 to 35%. Now keep this in mind. If you have issues here and you're sending half of the people going to your site are irrelevant and maybe they're not looking for a service you offer, maybe they're not looking for uh, the service you offer in the lo location you offer it, well, if 50% of these are irrelevant, that's going to lower how well your landing page converts them into leads, right? Because if they land on your site and they're looking for a Miami uh, charter bus rentals, for instance, and they see that you do offer charter bus rentals, but let's say you're in Raleigh, North Carolina or something, um, well, they're not gonna convert into a lead, right? Because um, you off obviously aren't offering the service they need in the area that they need it. So. We want to optimize for this, and we want this to be as high as possible. And really, if you've been doing paid advertising for a few months, this should really be at least 90%. And if that's at 90%, and this is any less than 20%, and really I like to see it at 25 or 30%. Uh, but if this is any less than 20%, and you know the traffic you are getting is people looking for what you offer where you offer it, well then, there's an issue with your website or landing page, and it isn't doing a good job of converting visitors into leads. So if this number is good, and this number isn't, we know that the problem lies in the landing page or website. Okay, so um, let's say these are both great, right? 90% of the traffic's relevant. 
uh, let's say the website or landing page is converting really well. But let's say maybe you don't have a sales system in place. Maybe your staff isn't trained. You don't have scripts. Um, that's going to all lower your lead to booking rate. And we want that to be as high as possible, too. And what I've seen is this varies a great deal. But really, you want to be booking probably anywhere at a minimum of 10%. And that's a minimum to, I've seen, up to 25 or 30%. Now, this really depends on the type of service you offer. Um, you know, If you're doing airport transportation, that number very likely will be higher just because the dollar amount is lower. So typically, people will get less quote requests if the dollar amount is lower. Um, but you really want to be optimizing for this as well. And so if you find out that these two things are good, but you're only converting 5% of your leads, well, that makes your cost per client acquisition that much higher. right? So we want to be really optimizing for all three of these things. And so um, lastly, how, many, how, how well do you retain clients? How well do you get repeat business? And do you have a system in place for following up with happy customers, happy clients, and asking for referrals? Because if you don't, then it's very likely that your rate of repeat business is going to be pretty low. So I don't have a number for this one, but if you don't have a system in place where you're following up with new customers, new clients who just used your service, had a great experience, and you're not getting on the phone with them, asking for referrals, asking for more business, then you are leaving money on the table. And so really, online marketing is obviously goes and ends here, right? Because the sales side of it, that, that's, that's a whole different um, that's a whole different thing, but it's just as, if not more important. And so with the successful companies I've seen, they have optimized for these three things. And those are what really drive your results. The higher these percentages are, the lower your cost per client acquisition. And then extra credit here if you have something, a system in place for following up with new customers that just use your service and getting that repeat business. Because over the long term, that can really have probably the biggest difference out of any of these things I just mentioned. So this is really the online marketing basics. We want to make sure we optimize and get the highest percentage of relevant traffic to our site. Once that traffic gets to our site, we want to make sure we get the highest percentage to convert into a lead, which could be a phone call, a quote request form, a, um, a Facebook Messenger chat. And then we want to make sure our sales team has scripts and that they have a follow-up system in place. If you take 40, 50, 60 minutes to get back to someone requesting a quote, I guarantee this number will probably be 5 to 10% or even less. So with the, um, with the follow-up and the quoting someone, if you can get them on the phone within the first five minutes after they submitted a request, your chance of closing that client goes up tremendously. And look, many of you might say, I've tried calling. They just don't answer their phone. Well, here's what you need to do. You need to do the double dial. And I'm actually going to write this down because it's so important. So double dial. All right. So I get a ton of robocalls. And I'm guessing a lot of you do as well. And they're very annoying. And so I never really answer my phone if I don't recognize the number. And most people are like this. And so when you call, why are they going to answer? You might say, well, they just submitted a quote request. And sure, they might have, but they don't know that's you calling. And so what you do, don't leave a message. Just hang up. Call them again. Because the chance of them answering the second time is much higher. And why should we even do this? Why not just send an email? Because you're always going to convert people at a higher rate with an actual conversation. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video about online marketing basics. If you got some value from this video, if you enjoyed it, I'd ask that you do me a favor and share this. Uh, give it a like, and let me know if you have any experience with any of these things and optimizing any of these variables, and if you have any questions of anything I went over that you would like me to elaborate on. So anyways, guys, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.